Welcome back to New York Yacht Club Race Week at Newport, presented by Rolex. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV. Well, yesterday, Newport brought the beauty as 25 classic yachts took to Narragansett Bay. And today, she brings the breeze with winds forecast to build up to 25 knots, which should test even the best of these classic competitors. We'll join the action again on top of Narragansett Bay. The breeze already in the high teens, less than 10 seconds to go. Momentum is the name of the game as the 12 meters approach the line. Looks like Victory 83 is going to push it very close here at the leeward end. And what a start for division leader KZ3 with Brad Reed at the helm. Courageous, the first boat to tack on the port. She's going to face a starboard tacker. Will they make it across? Yes. The classic non-spinnaker class approaches the line next. Black watch a little bit close to being over the line. There was the gun. A perfect start. For this class, it'll be a short sprint to the windward mark, followed by a distance course around Prudence Island. Back on the line with the classic spinnaker division. Two schools of thought. One group down here at the pin end. The other one's fighting for the committee boat. Bad news for Chuck Townsend's division leader, Fidelio, got shut out at the committee boat end. And early tack on to port. We'll see if that helps him get back in the game. Left hand shift, the rest of the fleet follows suit on the port. KZ3 is just in front of these two who are having a match race into the leeward mark for second and third. It's Courageous and Victory 83. They won the start, they're ahead at the leeward mark. Gunther Berman and crew looking strong aboard New Zealand's KZ-3. In the S class, first, second, third, and fourth places are all only separated by one point each, showing just how competitive this one design racing can be. The leader is Jeffrey Davis's Aquila. Class 2 is being led by John Loborough's Bell, although Fidelio is making up a lot of the ground that she lost at the start.
Think there's any speed difference between these two six, six meters? Not much. They are connected like glue to each other all the way around the track. Flying wing-sailed catamarans or this? I think if I were in charge of the America's Cup, it would be a tough decision. Blue Boat, Aquila number 51, made a flyer to the right-hand side, stick, now they tack in front of the fleet. Close action, even in the back of the pack, Firefly leads a group of three around the mark. Two bullets yesterday and an insurmountable lead in this race. Gunther Berman cannot be stopped. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fidelio continues to chase Bell. KZ5 pushes as close as she can to Gould Island. The good news, you get a lift in here. The bad news, you can also get some logs. First place is just about determined, but it's close behind them. Intrepid tacks just ahead of Courageous around the mark next. And there's two more just behind. It's going to be a four-way tussle at the top. Fidelio's fought for the front to beat Bell, but will it be enough and they head for the finish? Bell has definitely got her on corrected time. Back in the 12s, Gunther Berman has all but sealed the deal.
And it's another bullet for KZ3. Into the finish for class two, and Jonathan Lorbro's Bell has done it, just barely. And in the S-Class, things have changed. It's Walter Bob's Mischief out in front. Today, Newport proved yet again why it is one of the very best places to sail in the world. And that wraps up the classics of New York Yacht Club Race Week in Newport, presented by Rolex. For a complete list of results, log on to the New York Yacht Club's website. There's a lot more to come. Join us Wednesday for part two of this regatta. For now, I'm Tucker Thompson. Thanks for joining us.